It is Tuesday, February 27th. This is a meeting of the Hadley Housing Authority. Um, I'm going to be working with the agenda a little bit differently here because I want to keep the meeting moving. We have to be out of here within an hour. I'm going to ask for public comment now. Does anybody have anything they'd like to bring up briefly? Uh, I don't want ever to shut anybody down, but if you have a comment, now is a good time. If there's time at the end, I'll ask again. Okay, Holly's please. got a comment. Holly. This is operational. I will may I pass it along to the very uh, executive director. <coughs> Yeah. May I ask? Can I? Close, too close. Okay. David? Uh, you. I have a question, David. Why do we Why do we have to be out in an hour? Uh, I gotta get going. Okay. If you have anything though that needs discussing, we can. Either. No, it's too early in the meeting to really. Okay. We'll, Question. We'll, we'll, and we'll come back to you guys at the end. I'm okay. Can you excuse me? Could you, be, since you have to go in an hour, can the co-chair take over? If necessary. Have a full meeting. The housing authority has an appointment for the assessment. So we can't have these long meetings. Talk fast. Okay. Uh, approval of minutes. Those are the minutes of January 30th, I believe. Mr. Chair, I move that we approve. The minutes of Tuesday, January 30th, 2024. <coughs> Five a second? I'll do a second. Thank you, Richie. Did uh, anybody have a discussion of the minutes of January 30th? Any corrections, edits, too? There's a lot of corrections, and I think this is a year of time frame that we should get back to it at, at another meeting. Okay, next week. I think there's more important things to get, get to. Okay, we'll table it for now. We oh, remember. Hold on. Pamela's got a comment. So that's one of the normal things at the meeting. Can we? Well, you're not going to be able to get since we had to postpone our last meeting due to the bad weather. We do well, certain we, things we don't want to. Would you prefer that this. we go over them now? I, um, I would, so we can stay on track with them. Oh, we have our legal so let's go over. We got. Uh, well, just it, it says Commissioner Oppenheimer asked for another meeting to address the topic she wanted and did not put on the agenda. It should be was not put on the agenda. It okay. makes it seems like I didn't, that it was just not put on the agenda. Okay. That's on that page. On page two, the property management report and the under vacancy report, um, I think that some of it is um, misleading how it's written. It's making it sound like the two apartments in the children's family unit is not being done because they're waiting for the capital project money to come in. But the, um, the, the, um, some of the apartments that have been vacant in, in the senior disabled area, um, it's, they're saying that it's being put off due to rolling showers and cabinetry and things like that. But th these apartments have sat for a really long time, and not extra money is coming in for the state for that. Uh, may I make a comment, please? Okay. Yeah. This is this is a, but it's incorrect. So it's, it's actually it's not incorrect. incorrect. It's, it's not incorrect. incorrect. This, hold on, hold on. This is what was stated during the meeting. If you have a disagreement with it, you can put it on the agenda. But this was as a true. Um, representation of what was stated during the meeting and that's what minutes are for but if you want to have false facts on a well you can't okay that's the same right the, the it's a transcript the hadley minutes are a transcript yeah. um okay. and it is that's exactly what was stated and it is a, it is an accurate statement yeah Okay. I disagree. No, if you, if you, if you so we'll bring it out i'll add it to the yeah 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 uh, well, she got to David's been exposed, so that's right. why we're wearing masks. Gotcha. Um, that's great up here. Yeah. 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 Thank you. Well, I, I just wanted to know, it, it, can we ask a question as far as um, 
it stated that Hatfield turned down money for uh, mini splits. Mm -hmm. And they, then Pamela stated the fact that Belcher did, Belchertown did the same thing a few years back. <coughs> is this something that, I just wonder, as a tenant living here, is this something that's eventually going to be offered to Hadley House? Okay, this is approval of the minutes. Okay. Yeah. Um, Well, most of it has, I have, is fact, there's untrue facts in a lot of this. For instance, when Mr. Boskin asked if Pamela was having trouble keeping property managers, she said that is not true. We have a new property manager. Well, we've had four property managers in a matter of four mm -hmm. years. Okay, so can you ask that to be on it? Well, I will, but I'm just stating. Um, there's just so many facts here reading this that are that are incorrect I'm just going to are, are they a new representation they're yeah. a transcript okay. of the reading yeah so Sue could you uh, make a, a list of these right there's just a bring them up at the next meeting right and then that. you know she transcribes from the video of the meeting so debating the content doesn't work when we're approving the minutes. So we've got to do it at the time right of the and there's a lot of it, um, misspelling and, and sentences that are fully written okay all right um so i'm still going to ask for a vote to approve these i'm happy to discuss them further and the content of them you know of the meeting of january 30th again but uh, right now it's just the other minutes accurate or not yeah so all those in favor? Aye. 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 Against? Aye. One against. Uh, abstentions are right, so it passed three to one. All right, I'm going to move on. We, we can certainly talk about all this again in the future. Totally down. Yeah. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Somehow I managed to couple my papers and others. Okay, uh, Executive Director's reports. I had asked for introductions <coughs> and we have a new, some new staff, is that correct, Pamela? There is, well, some of these staff have been around for a little bit, yes. Yeah. But, and I apologize because I just came back today and I welcome did not back, see these, back. but it's, thank yeah. you. It's my understanding, so Tuesday is the property manager's day in Belchertown, so that's where she is. And then the director of facilities has testing that he's been doing today with on some properties. And the new resident service coordinator, the um, it fell through, that it didn't come through. That we lost over benefits, not, not uh, matching for 403B. So. So we do not have a new service coordinator yet. And when you say the new property, the new property manager, she's in Belchertown. To Belchertown to, is Tuesday. Tuesday okay. and Thursday is Belchertown. Excuse me, Mr. Chairman. Then, then why is it that the introduction was supposed to be today, but they're in Belchertown? So that was put on the agenda last week. I was on vacation last week, and I truly took a vacation mm -hmm. last week, and I didn't see it. So this was. Okay my day today and she's leasing up somebody in Belcher Tech today so there's other obligations well, the day to day operations that needs to happen yep, so I feel as a board member that it's just as important for them to come here I've, to the board that it is to I've never introduced uh, ma uh, employees to the board before that's not a normal thing No, I can do it at a, as a courtesy for sure but that's not a normal thing well, I'll leave it up to the board if they think it's important to meet this uh, managing staff or not. Uh, financials, warrant reports, anything unusual? Uh, you'll meet us. We should have the treasurer, right? I uh, am not the treasurer now. That's oh, right. So, <laughs> was there anything unusual, <laughs> Mr. Wittes? And then right now we, we we looked at it and everything was fine. Yeah. So, so I we make want, a we take a vote on this. Yes. Yeah. Warrant report. So I move that. Did everybody look at it. Sue, have you read this? I have. Okay. I have a few things to bring okay. up. Number so one, I need a motion. Yes. So I move that we accept the warrant report for transactions on 111-2024 in the total amount of. 
You'll see the memo description. It's the poster meter, postage meter. So that's for postage. All right. Um, let's see. Why is there a fee for a 1227 2023 for an inspection? Why do you have to pay somebody to inspect? Five hundred dollars. We have a, we have a contract with an outside inspection firm to do the firm to do inspections that are required by regulation. But also, um, Mary and yourself have done a lot of inspections. We so. do, but that's totally outsourced. over. Now you've given that up. Yes. Yep. For years now. No, I had I was inspecting last year. <laughs> nope. Okay. What is um, town of Hadley slash pilot? What is that on uh, invoice date one one twenty four? So housing authorities, as because because we're government agencies, in lieu of paying property taxes, we pay prop pilot tax, and that's the amount assessed to have for to the housing authority. Okay. Good. Thank you, Sue. Good so now we can vote. Voting on approving the warrant. All in favor? Aye. 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 Uh, Treasurer's report? No, no, we're not done. Oh, sorry, go on. Uh, Mr. Chair, I move that we approve the warrant report for invoices, transactions on January 25th, 2024, in the amount of $491.24. Do I have a second? Where are we now? Well, like I said, January 25th, 2024. It's this, so you're right here. Yeah. This one here. January 25th. Yeah. 125. Yeah. Steaming up. <laughs> okay, we have a question. Do we don't have a second yet. Okay, so. I'll do the second. What? Thank you. Discussion? Yes, I'm on 12 2023, uniforms, bathroom, and chemicals. What at where are you at on so the very first 12 2023? When it says chemicals, where what are these chemicals and where are they using them? They're used in the apartment turnovers and they're used in the community room, laundry room for cleaning. The uniform shouldn't be on there because you're not charged for the uniforms here. And uh, why is no we used to have a spray bottle of disinfectant in the Community or if it's missing, it's not we can there put anymore. One in, but you know, you can call me. And I but can, if you're not here and no one's here, I take can. telephone calls. I you believe take telephone. What, you have to call us. What happened to if I could interject is that people kept lifting the spray bottle of cleaner out of the bathroom. It kept going missing, and eventually it wasn't replaced. It's used only by maintenance staff, so it's kept in maintenance uh, closet. Which isn't very, excuse me, which isn't helpful considering the fact that people are only here Monday and Friday. And that well, no, they, they clean and they use it to clean. As a courtesy, they left it in the bathroom and whoever kept lifting it. So, so it's now kept in the... It was kept in the um, laundry room so we could spread in it. In the laundry room and in the bathroom. However, 
it kept going missing, so now it's kept in the maintenance cap, uh, closet. Okay, anything else on that warrant? If not, all those in favor? Approve it? Aye. Aye. Yeah, Yes, thank you. Is that it for water report? No, one more. One more. Uh, Mr. Chair, I move we report the warrant report with invoices for transactions of 1-11-2024 in the amount of 26, oh, wait a minute, that I, yeah, $26,794.87, I think I'm on the wrong one. Yeah, Thank you. Okay, never mind. Okay, uh, Mr. Chair, we uh, approve the warrant report with invoices uh, from January 24, 2024, of the amount of $180. Second. Any second discussion? Okay. The only discussion I have is to, uh, this is regular. Well, is this regular pest control or spot specific pest control? <coughs> and if it's spot specific, are the problems on the way to resolution? If it is spot specific and they're on their way to resolution. Thank you. All right, no other questions? All those in favor of approving that tomorrow? Aye. Aye. All right, unanimous, thank you. Is that it? Yes. Okay, treasurer's report. Uh, Mr. Treasurer, you got the chair back, don't you? <laughs> Would you like me to? Yes, you're okay. doing a great job. Uh -huh. um, so, as a member of the Finance Committee, I will uh, give the Treasurer's report. I see nothing unusual for the Treasurer's report for January 31st, 2024. Then we don't have to vote on this. This is just for informational purposes. All right, thank you. Moving along. Mr. Chairman. Yes, sir. On page one, under modernization, $680 fee for funds paid, not reimbursed, but it's not specific about what the fund are used for. It just says funds paid. What is it for? Mr. Chairman. So that's it's under modernization so it's the capital project for the windows and then once we get the reimbursement from the state the it'll come it flow through to the housing authorities um, bank account and then that but it's for the window project do you think it should, we should say window projects would be more specific so when we're reading through it we'll know it's not typically on a treasurer's report that way but it does say modernization Pam, I know you just got back, but you've had a time, you had a moment to look over this or not yet? Yes. I mean, you yep. will be? Okay, thank you. All right. Mr. Chairman. Okay. Yes, Sue. On page two, when, uh, under legal, $734.89, and it's in parentheses. Does that mean we went over that line item? We used more than a lot of that? Yes, it does. I'll just answer. Yes, it does. So, but only only per t to date. It's not. We didn't go over for the full year. No. The amount budgeted is seventy five hundred dollars, and to date, where it so it this breaks it down by what you should be at per month. So we've gone over per month, but not per year yet. We haven't gone over the line yet. And this is not discretionary. This is what has to be done according to the rules and the regulations. Of course, it's the legal expenses that must be expended according to the rules and regulations. Okay. No vote needed on the treasurer's report. Thank you. Uh, property manager report, your vacancy report. <coughs> so the vacancy report didn't change, I don't believe, since last month. And I do just want to note too that of the five at Golden Court, two of them have already have tenants assigned to them. So we are just waiting for that those, that funding to come in from the for the capital projects through Executive Office of Housing. So nothing out of the ordinary there. Um, the January TAR report is um, still too high. 
um, but that will be uh, that's accounted for in the legal cost as well we have been in court all this past month twice um, with Hadley residents getting um, repayment agreements going so and then uh, TPP tenant protective services to our, our protection services are working with our residents to try to help get the raft money or any other funding that they can get to help pay down the balances. So hopefully that will improve soon. Do you have any questions on either of those? Yeah, I just want to point out in 705 we have a flawed repayment agreement. Yes. So these are things that have, they do require legal intervention. Either way it would. Whether Either you don't way. pay it or it's fraud. Yeah, yeah. Has the state given us any hints on when the money will be coming? For the well, that for the capital project? The capital project. Yeah, so it's it's looking like by next month we'll have some funding mm -hmm. for Hadley. Uh, facilities, capital work on report, the parking lot improvement. Okay, so you, we have our normal work order reports here of what they've been doing. Maintenance has been very busy taking care of and um, nothing out of the usual. I don't know if you have anything on the work orders? No, it's just a, uh, I'll, I'll point out to the board and when you look through it, you'll see that it is now divided up into emergency work orders, inspection type work orders, on-call emergency work orders, again, and that was all done separating it out to give us a clearer view so the board can have some information about what our maintenance folks are doing. I mean, they have uh, vacancy type work orders, scheduled work orders, requested, uh, you know, that kind of thing. Emergency, on-call emergency, and it's a much clearer system now. Thank you, Pamela. You're welcome. Um. Any other comments or questions from the board on the facilities? And we need no vote on that, so. Yeah. Uh, commissioner's discussion, are we there? Yes, yes we are. Um, <coughs> Sue, you might have some questions about which, where the ads were placed, the VED search and all that. Well, first but, of all, I'd, I'd like to have an update on executive director search and um, well, I'll give an update if first. You give us an update, and then Pamela can fill us in with, with the newspaper ads. And okay. uh, I can. So we've been getting uh, some responses, very, very, very few appropriate or qualified responses. Uh, I would put that number at zero to two appropriate applications. And I've spoken to Pamela a couple of weeks ago before we both left on our travels and uh, was encouraged by what she told me about new people coming in. And, uh, you know, we went, we went down my short list or our short list of things that we thought there was room for improvement in, um, such as having somebody in the office more hours and. Uh, a few other things and um, I was satisfied with the responses I got from our ED. And I went back and I talked to Commissioner Oppenheimer who <coughs> um, has been interested in doing the search and uh, <coughs> she agreed with me that we needed to reevaluate the situation and if I'm misspeaking here. Yes. Hit me. Yes, you are, Mr. Chairman. Okay, well, <laughs> help me out there. We, I was going to say we're going to temporarily suspend the search, and you said no, we're going to re reevaluate, right? It was the term you wanted to use. Oh, no, we said that we were going to look at the resumes and see what comes in, and then evaluate after we see board decision. Okay. okay. Mr. So, Chairman, uh, and we had 52, I want to let people know we had 52 responses to the ad. And I felt there was more than just a few that were mm -hmm. way worthy of I know, uh, too. being an executive director. Oh, good. Well, we'll well, have to how, go does the, how does a resident know? What? 
Judy just said two is we is I just said it, that's why. She said no. two at least. So he how said, does he just said that two at least? He said there was two okay. that were oh, thought was four. a resident should not know anything about who's applying. I have not talked to any residents about this. I assume who has not So the committee subcommittee to do to review these uh, applications is going to be Commissioner Oppenheimer and myself. As you know, I'm out of here within a month, so I don't feel it's really appropriate for me to plan the future here too much. But um, as a subcommittee, we will look at these applications and we will discuss. And um, as for my initial just skimming over the mystic time, I don't see, I, well, I already spoke to what I saw. So if we need to reevaluate them, we can do that over the next <coughs> couple of weeks and come back if there's any surprises. But um, I do not anticipate that we have any powerful applications coming in. That's just my commentary. We can comment together, all right? Commissioner Oppenheimer and myself will review the applications with some care and uh, come back to you if we feel there's anybody who is worth considering. I think that's the way to go. Uh, Mr. Chairman, yeah. my, my problem with putting things off over and over again is any good applicant with the time that we've spent is going to be gone. Very few people are going to wait around for a 16 hour a week job that has any, you know, there was some, what I thought there was some very good candidates and they're just going to be gobbled up and each time we kept two weeks here and three weeks here, the person's going to be so gone. So you'd like to meet in the next few days to I'd discuss like to, And I would also oh, don't understand why some of these resumes came in res regular resume form and other ones came in Google Doc. The ones that came in Google Doc only were a small little paragraph and they were not a whole uh, resume. I don't know, I don't know Google Doc. I, I So you want to discuss our subcommittee's findings now in detail? No, no, I'm just saying, I would just want to let people know that I think that if we have to speed up our process as far as Okay, thank concerned. you, Sue. Right. Mr. And Chair? Yeah. Art. Were you finished? Um, and, and Mr. Chairman, have you uh, shared your these resumes with anybody other than your fellow sub? No. Person. <laughs> okay. Nobody. Um, and as they're shared with you, I hope you can say the same. Sure. All right. Anything else on that right now, too? Let's see. Um, I would like I to think if I'm going to make any comment, if we do want to continue this effort, is whatever we did up to now is not working properly. So we either need to, if you want to continue this, go we use Mass Narrow, do a more, um, <coughs> this shotgun approach I don't think works for this kind of a specific uh, position. So we need to either look to retired EDs, Mass Narrow, maybe Mass Union, or the state itself, the executive office itself, to find appropriate candidates. Okay, I'm not starting a discussion here. I'm just giving you my <coughs> opinion that if we do continue this process, I think we need to have a much more targeted approach. Mr. Chair, so it looks like we're down uh, <coughs> past appointing an ED search committee because Sue, you and Sue have agreed to be the ED search committee, subcommittee. Yeah, yes. Okay, so we're down to re-evaluation of the current ED situation, is that correct? That would be number E? Yeah. Okay, are we opening that for discussion? Sure. Okay, so I would like to comment that uh, from a financial point of view, from a work order point of view, from a staffing point of view, we actually are in great shape with Pamela Rogers and Amherst Housing Authority. And I will again reiterate that this is an exercise in money waste. We have a contract for uh, two and a half more years. We're, uh, uh, Pamela Rogers and her staff, Amherst Housing Authority, is doing a great job. I move that we 
end this ED search. Do you, anyone want a second? I agree with you. I would never in favor in the first place. That's a second. All right. Any other discussion? Uh, we missed the part about updating on the newspaper ads. Still haven't found out. Well, we're now on. Yeah, we're. We are now I don't, on number E. The chair, the chair said we were on number E. If we need to go back to number B, we can. But right now, we're entertaining a vote. Well, can I comment on what you said? She's yeah. Well, we have a motion and a second. No, I, well, I wanted to comment on something that she said. Okay. Number one is uh, the process has been a long process. And uh, I feel that there's been a lot of obstacles in the way. And get, after all this work we've done to say that we're not even going to give a person a chance who put an ad in the paper to apply, it's disrespectful to the people that apply. And it's disrespectful to our board members that have sat here doing a lot of work with everything taking so long between DHCD and the okay, and having to divide a board. All right. So I feel that uh, if 52 people, regardless of how many you feel are, are valid, okay. they should be given the chance to come in for an interview and, uh, and go through the process instead of cutting the process in its tracks. Okay. As far as some of the comments that Risa made, Commissioner Risa made was, uh, I feel it or incorrect that we have trouble. You say we have a great staff, we keep losing staff. We keep having to retrain staff over and over again. And we very rarely have anybody in the office. So you're saying, as far as what I can say, I, I disagree okay, with what you're saying. Right, you'd like to right. Uh, so you mentioned that it would be disrespectful to 52, is it? 52. Applicants who press send on Indeed or Mass Search or whatever. Uh, but we have a contract with an excellent housing authority and an excellent executive director now. And this whole search, I believe, is disrespectful to Amherst Housing Authority. <laughs> we already have staff. Every housing authority in the state is struggling with retaining staff because of the benefits issue and the pay issue. The, uh, um, and I am perplexed why you think that, that we would be better off at Hadley Housing Authority with 16 hour a week executive director part-time no benefits poor pay and a 17 hour a week maintenance man when we now tenants have access to 24 7 maintenance and staff okay, thank you. that's not necessary. yeah mr chairman hearing me say that it's sort of like a I, I like i said i'll reiterate the fact it's a slap in the face for any of the work we've done and all the discussions that have taken place. Only to start, we are, I already know where you and Richie are coming from as far as how you feel. So saying this now, up to this point where we have resumes in our hand, to me is, a, is just not a, <laughs> a respectful thing to do. To May I respond? You yeah, say um, you're, you're it's devaluing. It's just a constructive conversation, guys. We know how, Pamela? Exactly. I, I would just respectfully, I believe Chairman Moshkin has a master's degree from Wharton in business. You have an MBA, is that yes. correct? So if, if our MBA says that you have maybe two valid resumes, you have two valid resumes. Just wow. that's what that's what that's what the educated Look, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, suspend oh, this. I know um, I suggest originally that we temporarily suspend the search and review the. Uh, so frustrating. And. Um, I'm going to suspend it. So uh, I should have followed my own advice. We'll have to do that on a vote. Right. We have a motion standing. We do have a standing motion. Mine was to end it, okay. not suspend it. Right. I don't understand how, Mr. Moskett, how you could bring this up now after you have, we have packets of resumes in our hands. 
how you can suspend it and using yeah, the I'm word I think using I'm the word suspend I think that we need to I'm willing to look at their resume well then we don't need to say to. suspend or not suspend yeah. we need to just okay. look your resumes so Mr. Chair I'm there gonna... is a motion on the floor okay. to end this executive director search it's been first and second and we've had discussion can we please bring it to a vote yeah all in favor aye yes what do you vote three now? three to one Oh. So we have now ended oh. the executive director search. So don't go for if we disagree, what happens then? Where do we go to uh, uh, present uh, Mr. Mr. Uh, Mr. Chair? I just voted against, right? Against yeah, yeah. your motion. No, no you voted, voted for ending the executive did, director so search. So point of clarification, he did when you did raise your hand, you did say against. So he, I think it's oh, two okay. to two. Oh, it's two to two? Yeah. Okay, so do we but need do not to mis misinterpret my vote. Okay? Oh, okay. So then do we need a vote to suspend? Because I'll move that we suspend it. Well, I'm going to suggest we drop this. Let me sit with Commissioner Oppenheimer, review these applications. And I'm going to tell you, I do not anticipate anybody in the current package of applications is going to fit our requirements or the state's requirements. And um, we're going to disagree on this, I think. But um, by next meeting, I think we can see that either we need to go out further and start a new approach to search or end it. Mr. Mosk, and because of the fact that we've had a a split board and now you and I being on subcommittee which are going to be split because you're looking at something I'm looking at hopefully finding people that fit the fit the executive director uh -huh. position and I feel that there are it's going to be difficult and if I'm going to put more time into it only for you to okay. change your mind again you have to commit to at least sitting uh, down and spending some okay. time. I'm going to make a motion to end the uh, search. Uh, second. Any discussion? A second of May. All in favor? Aye. All right. So done. the search is ended? Okay, so we've done. What do you mean by that? We're ending the search. Stop. We voted, the three of us voted to end the search. Just like that, all the work just <laughs> out the door. That is correct. All the work, yeah. The drafting of an ad, yeah. No, dra drafting of the ad and talking about it has been what left these board these board Yeah, I feel like a lot of time has been wasted, yeah. I agree. Mr. Chair. Yeah. Uh, we are now to number F of four. So discussion for fifth board number. Yeah, I don't know how to, what you had in mind. Was that your right? No, I did not contribute to the agenda. Who, who, who asked me to or who put this on here? I did not come up with that because I feel like that should happen. Where is it? Yeah, I did not either. It's number All right, F, okay, we'll so pass over the table that for now. Policies update. Well, hold on, hold on. Yeah. We do need to have a discussion about a fifth member. My understanding was that the town would put out an ad for the vacancy on the board, and now we will have three vacancies on the board. We have Mr. Chadwick's seat is still vacant. You're planning on not running again with yeah, the. I didn't run, I was appointed by the yeah, governor. Yeah, appointed by the governor. Yeah. So you're planning on not asking to be reappointed. Correct. And Mr. Wittkes is not running again for re-election. So we will have, pardon? I said Mr. Wittkes, didn't I? Yes. It's okay. What did I do? Nothing. Okay. okay. So the only people left on the board after the you two leave will be Sue and I. We need to discuss enough, you know. Okay. Pamela. So I will I will work with uh, Carolyn and, and Town Hall to make sure there's a, a special ad out for the um, for the board member position. But going into an election, the vacant seats are put up, or the seats that are coming up for election are put out for the whole town. Yeah, and okay. And people will put their name in. Okay. Uh, but there has been some talk about you know doing some. Um, Trying to get, trying to talk to people to see if you can get interest. Risa, you're on the CPA yes. um, committee. There might be folks on that committee. There might be people that are on the senior center committee or um, any other committee in town that might overlap. So if you there's know one, people, you should talk. Yeah, to let, let me comment briefly that I think there's one or two committees in town 
um, designated to looking at affordable housing. Yeah. There is the housing committee. Is it called housing and economic development? Yes, housing, economic development, and community preservation. So right. I can talk to community preservation at our next meeting. Okay. The people who have expressed that, uh, already an interest in affordable housing, I would hope would step up. I don't know if yeah. that's yep. happening be. again. So you're going to talk to Carolyn? Yep. Okay. Mr. Chairman, and what I hear around town, going to the senior center and, yeah, and get just around town, nobody wants to get near this board because of the fact. Okay, so that's maybe, a really unhelpful comment, no, Commissioner just, Oppenheimer, well, and just letting you, people. What, I'm not. I'm just saying okay, what I on. heard. What I can't tell the truth. Please go people ahead. Are, there's doesn't seem to be any interest when people have asked around town about feeling in So you seats. haven't found anybody who's interested? No, not me. I mean, just asking around. People have asked. Yes. People are not interested because of this, the dysfunction that they've seen on our board when they watch the, the videos. <laughs> yeah, it's going to take somebody with some chutzpah to come in here and create order and try to build a, uh, you know, a more solid board, absolutely. And if people are scared away by what they've been viewing at our meetings, then they should probably stay away. Anything else on that? Policies update. This is important. I'm sorry to be leaving without having had a chance to work as a team with you guys on making sure the policies are what we want them to be. I don't know if anything's going to happen between now and the next meeting, but I hope it does. Pamela? Yeah, so I, I will punch. February is not only a short month, <laughs> 29 days, but it was a very busy month between trainings at conference um, and then taking vacation. Um, it, I had planned on having uh, all uh, tenant meeting about the policies, uh, but the weather was also very cold. We will most definitely have one at the beginning part of March so that we can get more <coughs> on what the subcommittee has been working on. Great. Is, is there any reason why the commissioners can't look at it? this stuff at the same time as the tennis? Um, no, they can look at it at the same time. It would be great. But there would I, mean, be I don't know if we've already been given. I lose track of this stuff. Have we already been given? No, because if the oh. subcommittee sent it to me and then I will send it to Okay, well, but if we can save time by everybody looking at them together and then who knows, maybe we'll come up with the exact same ideas that the tenants have. Sure. Or maybe we'll have nothing to add. <laughs> But I'd love to see whatever you guys have come up with. I assume there's nothing dramatic, dramatic changes. Mr. Ooh. Chairman, we, we as a board, a few of us have asked for months about seeing these policies that you and Bridgie have. And at one meeting, uh, Risa stated the fact that she's giving it to Pamela before you're giving it to your fellow board member. Sharing it with your fellow board members before you share it with your tenants is very important because it's one of the few responsibilities of a board member is to the responsibility Mr. Chair, if I may respond. The responsibility of the board is to approve or disapprove a proposed policy. Rich and I sat down and wrote up a draft. The draft does not include all the rules and the regulations required by the state and local government, fire codes, etc. Pamela's the one who knows those. She we have sat down and gone through them. And now she's ready to bring them to the tenants. It's usually that the executive director brings forth changes in policies for the tenants to consider and have input on out of respect for the tenants. Then the tenants have input, she goes back, does her magic, and then presents it to the board. That's how it's usually done, am I correct? It's, no, it's not. Yes, Mr. it is, Mr. Chairman. <laughs> how it's usually done is the board can look at policy, well, they can look at policies, they can create new ones, they can tweak old ones, and then board members share them, and then they go to the executive director, going from having us waiting for months and months to see these policies, month after month. You're not saying what we're doing is when you drafts. It doesn't matter draft or not, it's original policy that you made a draft out of. Okay. So what I'm saying is- Thank you, good point. I'm not finished what I'm right, saying. What I'm saying is, you know, so here we deal with a policy situation where we can't seem to get uh, the policies to see no matter how many months we get. Now we're dealing with a ad situation for an executive director That's that we're being 
shut down on after months and months and months of, of work and and that's all for nothing. And and when you make a comment about it, you don't have to respect people when they push print, well, I feel we do because you're sitting here and you should have respect for people that are applying for a position. And when you make it are seem we like off topic now, well, it doesn't yeah. matter. No, it's an attitudinal thing. We're we're off topic now, Mr. Okay. Chair. So we're not getting anywhere because where's the policies? <coughs> and when are we going to see them as board <coughs> members? How long do we have to wait? wait? I think we just heard that she's happy to give us. But that's uh, not the way it's supposed to go. It, it is. You have an authority here on running a housing authority. Ms. Ms. Oppenheimer, I can get you the minutes from several months ago where you said the exact opposite. I so keep it, saying it. I said I did not say the exact opposite. Okay, that's fine, but it is, it, it is the proper way that we're going about it. And the tenants. No, it's the way you're going about it. It's not the proper way. And based on what? So based based on, on years of taking training at, at Mass Union and learning. How, what the board it, does and what Mass the tenants does not do to, uh, board training. No, it's not. Mass tenant unit does well, we not do, do know board that we have. Okay. Okay. If I think it's to everybody's benefit, especially the tenants, if we're we, not getting anywhere. If thanks, we, see, that's helpful. Well, if, we get, if we can accelerate the process <coughs> yep, of absolutely. having the tenants review the policies and have us look that's at them while it's not going that to process is going on. I myself don't know what the what the state wants us to do. There's logic, and then there's what the government wants, you know. Um, so we would be on number eight, community room laundry. I don't know. That did not come from me. Did it come from you, Rich? No, it didn't. Uh, I don't know what, don't know what that's about. Have there been problems in the laundry room? Yes, there is. Two? There's one machine that's out of order. Okay, can you, can you call in a work order or put in a work it order? It was put in. Okay. No, I don't believe it was put in with Ter uh, Carrie Mamale or what was her Mamani. Mamani. And also, oh, which was staffing the office? Okay, I'll double check into and that. Also, okay. there's two washers that have extremely high temperature, the front, the, the top loading. Yes. And uh, so, Madam Commissioner, these I, are day to day uh, operations that you're right. supposed to bring to well, it's, our attention. It so says I, community room situation, that's what they're assigning to it. Okay, so well, did you put it on the agenda? No, I did not. So, I, I, I was asked to put it on the agenda. Um, so <coughs> is the real problem that you're having trouble or tenants are having trouble reaching maintenance? No. Sorry. No, it's so just how not getting. Will a broken machine uh, be? It hasn't been broken that long, but there's a lot of problems with our machines. I it's just used up three of them two nights ago. Yeah, I, I use them every week. I am not having any trouble. Okay. Okay. I did so. Why is there an out of order on one right now if it's no trouble? If you walk in there, it says out of order. Is the work order process happening properly? It, it is. So she, Commissioner Oppenheimer said she put in a work order with the staff member that was staffing the office. Uh, Pam Creek also does the work orders, but we have the telephone line. We have an email. Um, I haven't heard anything of it yet, so I don't believe it's an issue. I do know. Of, a, of an issue at Hadley with this front door, but the washing machines, I didn't know anything about it. So okay. it's day to day operations that you need to put in work orders. We don't own People machines. do put in work orders. We do. That's the problem. We do put in work orders. Then, then as a commissioner, you're welcome to call me personally and find out what's going on. Mr. Chair, with our work order system, my understanding is when the work order is called in, it automatically goes on this work order sheet that we get a report on. Okay. I see no work orders for the laundry. I do see a work order for the door. Well, I, I just will point though that this is for January. Yeah. So when we see the February one, but I'll look into it. But yeah. it is, Commissioner okay. Oppenheimer knows it's day to day. I we as tenants and commissioners feel that the work orders aren't being handled properly. That's, that's going to be the real issue, not that one specific thing hasn't been uh, repaired yet. So maybe we should ask for a report next meeting about whether or not the work orders are being logged in and responded to. It appears that they are. Okay. Happy to put that on the agenda. Mr. Chairman, people would not be, home health aides would not be complaining when they're in the laundry room about doing other people's laundry and being okay with the temperatures of the water and the dryers not always drying and having to put extra we brought this up in many meetings and it's not being addressed. It's I've never heard of it being brought up as well. Well, no, I mean, tenant meetings, not a 
Would you pursue this and if you No, I want to pursue it because I pursued it and pursued it and it's talking. You did it, ma'am. You didn't call me. You did not call me. Who ever heard of calling the executive director for a for a laundry room problem? So I so not to be sarcastic, but you're asking to hire an executive director. That's that's not who I would call. Excuse me. You would call no, because nobody ever has direct contact with the maintenance staff. The proper procedure is to go through the office. So that's what which right. is only Mary Bailey answering the phone. No, I, you can call me too. As a commissioner, you should be calling me. Any so other, other questions or comments from tenants? It um, also said community room. So is there a problem with the community room? Who put this on this agenda? He said he put it on a community request. room laundry situation. I, never I don't remember that. what the community room was. It was a bay. Sue's the only one I talked to with any, you know, with any regularity of that agenda item, so uh, if it wasn't So there's no problem with the community room? Because huh? it's well, not the agenda. Oh, the TV no. not getting channels? You have to go around the back of the TV to, to turn it on, and it gets a few channels. And there's no remote control? control? And the remote control doesn't <laughs> work properly. Oh. It's been like that. It's a second-hand TV given by the tenant. Oh, to pass well, away. Well, maybe you want to put in a work order to have the. Uh, we have put in a work order. I haven't seen any work orders for the pain. No, I mean the past, before you were. I've been here for over six years. No, I mean before you were on the board. Right. Okay, guys, uh, um, any other comments from the tenants? I have here? a comment. <coughs> Judy? I, I just need to express a huge disappointment. The board voted to look for a new executive director. And just like that, after all the work that's been done, it's over. Yeah. It's not right. It's not right. Okay. It's over. You'll remember, Judy, at the time there were two people on the board who wanted to search, two people who were against it. And I, as chair, said, well, if half the board wants to do something, I should let it happen and I feel like it hasn't happened in a business like way and I'm not able to help very much apparently so I, I can, just, if somebody can bring it up again my suggestion is when you have a full board again would we have a full board here? <laughs> Anybody? Uh, you, bring this up? You, you know I, I just oh, have to say that this is a dangerous community oh, no. and it, and we need someone who's going to address that I've had things stolen out of my backyard, and and it, no one has done a thing about it. I'm not sure if I can help you with that. No, so you can't. But I know where I can get help. So, okay, good. but that that you know that should not be happening here. This is an elderly community, elderly disabled community. People need to mind their business, keep their hands off other people's things. Because if they don't, management needs to step in. Okay, we are not management, but uh, I hope you're bringing your concerns <coughs> to management. I did. I mean, nobody should be stealing from anybody. Mr. Chairman, Tracy's got a comment. Okay. Tracy? Yes. I understand of this. Everybody that lives here is on a very low income. We all know that. When you get your driver's license, is it a right to get your driver's license or is it a privilege? It's a privilege to live here. It's not our right to live here. So people really need to look at things. 17 hours a week of maintenance. We're not catering to four or five women or four or five residents here. If you talk to the families, they're part of this too. And they seem to be excluded every time members, certain members of the board talk about. And they only talk about here and it's not right. A lot of the maintenance goes over there with turnovers. Sometimes we're waiting. It's housing. It's not your own private dwelling. And I think people need to start getting ahead on that. Because the board, some of the members of the board are only doing things in their own best interest. And only doing it in things for a few people here. You don't talk to the rest of the community to find out what they are thinking. I was just talking to one resident. He wasn't coming today, but he said, yeah, you go there, Tracy. 
you stick up for us. So you need to start looking at everybody as a whole and not as one or two or three individuals. And these false police reports that are being written, don't people know that they're also against the law? If you have something that belongs to somebody else and you claim it, it's against the law when you start writing a police report about it. So things like that are going to be addressed within the next week. And that's the reason. We can't cater to two or three people. If you have somebody out there who wants to make this place look better and has glass all over the place and is picking it up and they get a, a false police report, there's something wrong. And there needs to be accountability for those false police reports. Mr. Chairman? So, yeah. what I'm saying is the board really needs to listen to everybody as a whole and stop catering to the three or four individuals here. Hey, this is a privilege. And people who don't truly love their apartment because it's a nightmare out there in housing. Mm -hmm. So why are we beating up the people who are trying to help us? <laughs> yeah, good it's not right, it's good not question. fair. The good people are being smashed down, okay? And I don't know where meanness and entitlement becomes a disability. And you have people here who have been here, they say 20 years, but they're, they're a little off. It's either 15, 16, or 17, still. They have no more rights than people who just came here. And that's the way they've operated. Thank you, Casey. We are all equal. Thank you, Casey. Mr. I hope you encourage people to come to these meetings. So they don't want to because of the individual. Then they don't mm -hmm. have to talk. Mr. Chairman, I'd like to speak as a tenant now. <laughs> Tracy, I have a hard time Please listening to you from the table. Does it say in the minutes you have to the table? I, I would so you don't get an open meeting law violation. I'm just trying to help you. Mm -hmm. Mr. Ch yeah, right here, Tracy. So. I, I wanted, Tracy. I wanted to. You, you have to address the chair. I already did. I said, Mr. Chairman. No, you don't. No, see, now you're being aggressive coming towards me. No, she they said I had to get away from the chair. She has to address me. Go back. Anyway, Mr. Chairman, uh, Tracy. No, I wanted to let not address Tracy. Oh, you have to address the chair. Okay. There's no place to be. Oh, you are coming at me in an aggressive way. You need to sit down, Sue. They told me I had to stand up. Do I sit down or do I stand up? Do I sit down or do I stand up? Which one? Please give me directions. You have to address the chair with any public comment. Everyone has to chairman. Tracy, listening to your aggressive rant. You, you, you have to address a Be quiet. You have to address the chair. Yeah. Listening and to. Let's not talk about it. Oh, she just it's did. Don't even stop her. Why not mention? Okay. You just said you were going to talk to me. Oh, you, you mentioned me. The and fact that somebody. Is this a democratic uh, office or what? I don't understand. The yeah. fact that somebody comes to a meeting and talks about people calling the police and people taking <sighs> charge. The person who's sitting in this room now who just made that statement has taken more people to court and has got a person who has ever lived to go to court. Now, now that's inappropriate. You have just crossed the line, Sue. Well, you, you will be seeing that you just crossed the line according to the governor. Uh, 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 come on. You scared me. Uh, 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 hang on a second. Why is she she can say what she wants, but I say uh, you're shutting me down again. Because you can't. Yeah. She's know. talking I'm about people falsely. Would you please read Snow? No, 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 no. No, I'm not too messing up. Right. So, so as a commissioner, given the behavior we have just seen, I move for a vote of no confidence. <laughs> there she goes. For Sue Oppenheimer as commissioner to be removed from the board. Uh oh. Oh my God. <laughs> yes, I said. Do, do I have a second? Uh, okay. Eventually, won't have any more discussion. Discussion. Sue goes of Kenny Scullin. In favor. I go against. Against. Again. Against. against. Okay. You can't vote. I don't think that's the way to solve all this problem. Can I, can I, I take one? This. But why? Okay, you were at 12 noon, Mr. I don't have my mallet, guys, but we're out of time. Yeah. I, I have one comment. I just want to say, I, 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 I see day in and day out people coming, couples usually, young couples. And there's nobody, where are they supposed to go? to get a, uh, an apartment here. 
That's a question for Pamela. Uh, because I came here on a beautiful sunny day in May. And we walked in the door and I got the apartment right then and there. Okay. Uh, it probably shouldn't have happened. <laughs> All I can tell you is it was a beautiful day, but I see these couples that come here, well, and there's no one in here to. Uh, okay. It's no well staff here, here. Mr. Mr. Maskin. Make a motion, Chair. I make a motion that we adjourn the meeting. Yes. Okay. Just because you're here and what you want right. here, right? That's not fair. Right. We sat here and listened to all the books. I have a little 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 passion about this. I don't speak loud, but I this and is the voice God right. gave me. If it sounds like it's intimidating, oh well, it's a deep voice. You got a mask on me, and I tell you, members of the board, you better watch where you step because you're stepping into really bad territory. Okay, thank you. <laughs> All right. You have a motion on the floor. Is there anything else important, guys? I not think this personal, is important. Not a complaint about operations. No. Um, I don't live here, but I'm a friend of Judy's. I have a suggestion. You all are getting, I believe you said, three more board members. I, and maybe you've thought of this, but I would encourage you perhaps to get a consultant to help onboarding, you know, like to know what what the boundaries are between board and not board, or, or what to kind of help you. And the one person I could suggest, Michael Burkhart in Amherst, is skilled in working with groups and teams, so it may be a resource for for the board to develop as a board. Thank you. He's been our managing chairman for uh, how long now? Oh, he has? Three yeah. years. I don't know who watches our More meetings, not Judy, some I, I just want to say, if the people in Burke's Way were interested in coming to a meeting, they'd be here. So we, don't, we don't have to go over there and beg them to come. They can come. Thank you. Thank you. They're always open yep. to come here. Appreciate it. We have a motion to adjourn. Plus, there's some. There's a lot she's right here. Not yeah. I would just like to make a comment. I would just like to make a comment that I think that it's extremely uh, unfair. Uh, what's what I'm witnessing today going on? I think that this search ending is really. Very, very important. Horrible. We can always start a search again, right? Excuse me? Hey, you have a motion on the floor, search. Mr. Chair. You have a motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Not not in in the motion to adjourn. Somebody is speaking. Is that your message, Shelley? Uh -huh. Yes, and I also feel that this uh, search should be continued when. Yeah, but, Reese, I do. This is my. Please opinion. address the chair. Oh, I'm sorry. I am sorry. I didn't. Okay. Get, but you were looking at, and I couldn't uh, finish my thought. Yeah. We have a motion on the floor. All right. I all in favor of adjourning? Aye.